Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by l j Electrical Contractors. Their trained residential service technicians always deliver prompt, effective solutions to ensure a job well done. Call John at 609-703-7413 to schedule your appointment today. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. We are taking a look out at Ocean City right now, right on the boardwalk down by the Surf Mall. I've seen maybe a handful of people uh, kind of walking back and forth. I mean, it is a Monday. It is the afternoon. Uh, but also, I think the weather is probably keeping people off those boards today. Take a look at the surf. Those waves are just hammering the coastline right now. Things are going to stay pretty rough for the rest of uh, at least today and maybe even into tomorrow. So if you were thinking about heading towards the water, I know sometimes surfers like to take advantage of those bigger waves. Well, it is going to be a little rough, so do keep that in mind. But maybe the surfers will enjoy it at least. Uh, but yeah, really just a, a, still a little stormy out there. Clouds overhead, temperatures really in the low 50s, which, I mean, temperature-wise, that's a nice treat. Let's take a look back at what we saw over the last 24 to 48 hours. Max Wingus. There were a couple of spots that did reach that 50 mile per hour mark. Fort Dix, Harvey Cedars, Fortescue, they all got above 50 miles per hour. Little Lake Harbor, 50 miles per hour right on the nose. Vineland, Oswego Lake, Pensacon, all in the 40s. So there definitely was some pretty strong wind gust overnight last night. We're going to stay breezy <clears throat> for the next couple of hours and especially uh, later this evening and into the first half of the day tomorrow. But slowly we'll start to see conditions improve. Here's a look back at what we saw rain-wise. I know we were saying closer to about two and a half, three inches. I think the, the math really worked out on that. Most spots, about 2.3. Check out Pine Hill, Millville, uh, Morris River kind of hit the lottery, 3.8. Dover also 3.8, a little on the higher side. Winslow as well. Trenton, two and a half on the nose. Down the shore, right on the coastline, Atlantic City, a little bit uh, drier. Uh, about uh, 1.75 inches, but still some impressive numbers. Looking a little bit closer, there's some of those localized higher totals. Like I said, you, you just happen to get one of those little uh, downpours to set up. Tabernacle, 4.1, 4.5 a little bit further to the south, just outside of Winslow between uh, Winslow and Washington. Three inches for Washington itself. So a lot of rain and some pretty strong wind overnight last night. That's really what we were expecting. Okay, so here's the setup right now. <clears throat> We are still on the warm side of the front, putting us in the 50s. Not too bad, right? But uh, you can see those 40 and 30 degree temperatures uh, kind of sitting just behind that front. Those will be arriving overnight tonight and tomorrow we are going to see some much cooler weather. We're seeing a small opportunity for a passing snow shower tonight. Again, as the colder air moves in, we're still going to have a tiny bit of lingering moisture. But other than that, we are looking forward to a quiet week ahead. So uh, at least we'll enjoy this stretch of some sunshine on the way. So here's the deal for overnight tonight. Uh, still a couple of clouds out there. Really not too cold just yet. It's really during the first half of the day tomorrow that we start to see the colder air moving in. Uh, and that's going to lead to highs staying pretty much in the 40s for your Tuesday. Again, we do have a little bit of moisture kind of wrapping around on the back end of that system. You can see those snow showers moving across Pittsburgh and kind of moving towards State College. That's going to be later this evening. All of that is going to try to reach our area but it really doesn't have that good of an opportunity. Things are just kind of dry directly overhead and it's gonna sort of rip apart those snow showers. Now, if you're up across North Jersey, some of those higher elevation spots, you're gonna see a better chance for maybe a light dusting or some accumulation, but here across South Jersey, we're just gonna catch a quick little flurry and really nothing too impactful. So tomorrow the cold air moves in, the clouds move in kind of during the late afternoon, but you will see some sunshine and overall it is a little bit quieter. So we're still breezy, breezy right now with those wind gusts still upwards of about 20 to 25 miles an hour. <clears throat> we'll settle down just briefly overnight tonight before we see another round of a kind of more active wind on the way for tomorrow morning, kind of kicking up once again. But then tomorrow evening is when things really start to settle down by about 3 o'clock, those wind gusts settling into the teens, and then after that, much, much quieter. Taking a look at that 70 forecast, a lot of sunshine on the way for the next week. I know Christmas is on the way. Uh, unfortunately, our odds of a white Christmas seem to be pretty much slim to none, uh, but it will be nice, at least if you have any travel plans. You don't have to worry about things getting messy, so that's the silver lining to having a more mild Christmas is travel's not really an issue. So at least we have that going for us, and pretty much the whole week ahead, we'll start off kind of cool, but really not too bad. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, 
not really anything out of the ordinary or too crazy uh, for December. So overall, really not too bad. Okay, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll be checking in with you later on this evening.